Alrighty, so, uh, been a sec since I've done a video, so we'll see if I've still got it, but, um, I've just seen a lot of people doing the, uh, Elden Ring Seamless Co-op mod with the randomizer. Um, I've been doing it myself. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, so I figured I might as well just make a guide real quick on it. Um, you'll need a few things. Mod Engine 2.0 is a effective necessity most of the time for anything modding wise. Um, you'll want the Elden Mod Loader, the Randomizer, and the uh, Seamless Co-op Release, uh, whatever one is the most current. I'll link all of those in the description down below. Um, on my screen here, I've got the Mod Engine directory open, and I have my game directory open. Uh, the first thing we're going to do real quick is we are just going to go from uh, middle, top, bottom, I don't know, I don't have a specific order, but uh, we'll open up our Elden Ring randomizer here. Um, we're just going to copy that folder, and then we are going to paste it in our mod directory here. Uh, not the mod folder, the actual directory here. Uh, and then we're going to go to our config, Elden Ring, Tomal, Tomal, whatever that is. Uh, and we are going to open that up with Notepad or Notepad++. Down here at the bottom, yours will likely say mod right here. Uh, we're going to just change this to say randomizer. And then you'll just click file, save, or control S, however you want to do that. Uh, when that is all done, we are going to move on to our game directory here real quick. And we're just going to go to the Elden mod load um, right here. We're going to copy that. And then we are going to paste that in our game directory. Um, and then pretty easy peasy. We'll move right on, grab the beta release for the seamless co-op mod, copy that. And we will paste that in our game directory as well. We're going to open up our seamless co-op mod folder here, and we're going to copy the Elden Ring seamless co-op DLL. And then we're going to paste that in the mods folder that we just added with the mod loader. We're going to go back to our seamless co-op here and we're going to delete the co-op dll from that folder as we now have it in the mods folder this is important do this it will not work correctly otherwise once you have done that you can actually uh really quick set your password for your homies um right here you've got co-op password you just want to open that with a text editor like notepad notepad plus plus and you can go ahead and set yourself a password. Mine's just password right now for the sake of the video. Um, you, once you have that set, you just want all your buddies and the people you're gonna play with to have the same password set. Make sure you save it, file, save, control S, whatever. Once that's all done, we're gonna go run the randomizer real quick. So we're gonna run over here to the randomizer folder that's in our mod directory. Just open the exe. Uh, important thing to note, if you're playing with all your homies, you want everybody to have the exact same seed. So have one person run the seed, uh, the randomized items, however you see fit. Items plus enemy randomizer. You can change your bias, check boxes here for how things are laid out. Um, you can look through that all on your own. Make sure you have your game uh, executable selected, all that good stuff. And then roll your randomizer. Uh, make sure output for UXM is not checked. You don't you don't want that. You don't want any of these checked, actually. Just leave them all alone if you're doing it this way. Uh, once you have that run, you can send the seed to your homies. Have them run the same exact seed. Um, assuming all goes well, you'll get a nice little green bar down here across the bottom. And then you should be good to go. You can then just go and double click your Elden Ring launch mod executable or no, sorry, not executable. You want the bat, the batch folder here, batch file. Um, you can do something similar to me where I have an executable um, or shortcut of it on my desktop for sake of launching it. Um, assuming everything's all working good and well, you don't get any errors spit in your face or anything like that. You should be ready to rumble. Um, I did this like five minutes ago. Everything was working perfectly for me. So if you encounter any issues, let me know. Join my Discord, ask questions. Uh, I'll help get you sorted out. But I just wanted to make a quick little video to help you guys out. Uh, anything will be linked in the description uh, below that I used um, as previously mentioned. So 
Uh, hope that's helpful. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with this. Um, let me know how it goes for you. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.